Well, greetings, brothers and sisters. I'm thinking perhaps it's too early to predict which image from the coronavirus pandemic will prove most iconic around the world in the years to come when, praise God, the last test has come back negative. Perhaps it'll be the sight of people clapping for our heroes in the NHS and in our care homes where I'm standing outside or families grieving their loved ones or the socially distanced queues outside supermarkets, perhaps even the empty schools or the football stadia airports. For me, at least one enduring image will be the sight of Pope Francis leading the whole world in prayer during that extraordinary Urbi at Orbi back in March. Remember it well, that night, the solitude of the Pope as he walked through an empty St Peter's Square will remain as one of the defining images of our time. For me, the whole occasion was haunting, evocative, unforgettable, really. Now, that night, you remember, Pope Francis showed all of us, even me, what the priesthood is all about. He stood before God, bringing to him all our fears, our anxieties, our pain. And he also stood in front of the whole of humanity, bringing peace and the consolation and life of the gospel. That night, I think we saw in Francis the perfect model of what it is to be a priest, a bridge between God and humanity. The months, the years after the pandemic will be undoubtedly for all of us a time of change and challenge. As old certainties slip away, the people of our God will need their priests and their religious sisters more than ever to bring them to God and to bring God to them through the sacraments, through the preaching of the word, by their spiritual fatherhood, by um, their motherhood as religious women giving their hearts to the care of the needy. Can we respond to this need? Are we willing to get involved in this great project? Like Francis, are you prepared to offer others the light of Christ in the times of crisis and uncertainty ahead? I hope so. I call on young men, young women to give yourselves to Christ in the priesthood and religious life. The post-pandemic harvest will be great. We're sure of that. And I have renewed confidence that the Lord of the harvest is going to send a new generation to labour in that harvest. God bless to you all.